Hello, I'm Amanda Shagney, Associate Director for UK Alumni Career Services, and today I'm joined by UK alumna Kendra Wadworth. We're so glad that you're here. Welcome, Kendra. Hi, it's so good to be here. All right, well, let's get started. Tell us a little bit about your career path since you graduated from UK. Okay, so I graduated from the University of Kentucky, the College of Ed, um, in 2006, in, in the spring of 2006, and then I taught in Fayette County for one year, um, and after I taught in Fayette County for a year, my, at the time, fiance, and I moved to south of Knoxville, Tennessee, where I taught in Loudoun County for, gosh, I guess seven years, taught fourth and fifth grade there. And then we decided we needed to come back to the Bluegrass State and we moved back um, to Kentucky in 2013. And I have been teaching in Woodford County ever since. Um, I'm currently a fifth grade teacher at Simmons Elementary here in Woodford County. Kentucky always calls you back, doesn't it? It, it does, it gets in there and it, and it stays for, forever. <laughs> it really does, it really does. Well, what do you wish that you would have known earlier in your career? One of the things um, that I, you know, when, when you go into education, you always, most people say, I want to make an impact. I want to make a difference. I want to change kids' lives. And I think one thing that I just didn't realize is how much you really do impact their lives. And when you think about the time that you actually spend with your students in a school year, and the, the actual impact that you can make, I mean, like I said, going into it, that's why you want to do it and you want to be, you know, impactful and successful, you know, help kids be successful, but you don't really, I mean, it takes you a couple of years to really realize the impact because now I have kids that they have, they have kids and they're sending me pick emails of their kids and the, and the fact that they remember me being their fourth grade teacher and they want me to, you know, they're sending me baby shower invites and wedding invitations and stuff it's just it's just crazy the you know to think that you really do have that much of an impact on kids lives oh to have those connections even beyond the classroom is a true testament to the impact that you're having with those kiddos it it, it it's very touching and you know when they go when they are in college and graduating college and going into the military and stuff it's just it, it's just great love it any other big lessons that you'd like to share um, I think, you know, one thing is that, especially in education, a, a blessing, a lesson that I have learned is every single day is different. This is not a typical, you know, nine to five job. Nothing is the same ever, even from year to year. The lessons that I do one year, because I have a totally new group of kids um, the next year, the lesson is totally different. And it's just, for me, that I, I know a lot of people don't like different. They, they need the routine, but I, that, that's very refreshing for me is that, you know, every single day is different. I never know what the day is going to look like, even though I have it planned out. I have my plans. It usually never goes like I, like I plan for it to. Um, but I, I enjoy that part of it um, and the different kids every year. And it's, you know, you kind of get this fresh start every year and not, there's not a whole lot of jobs that, that I feel like you can do that. You get this, you know, a refresher every fall. <laughs> get to reboot every year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. That's wonderful. Let's talk a little bit about your time at UK. How do yeah. your studies in the College of Education connect to what you're doing right now? What big lessons there? I mean, everything, you know, was relatable. Um, everything that we did in the classroom, it's just very different, you know, when you're actually in the classroom and the kids are yours and they belong to you. But, um, you know, I felt, I feel like the, uh, even though it was quite a while ago, um, the College of Education <laughs> definitely did a very good job at making it as practical, you know, as possible. Um, or, and as real world as possible. I felt very prepared to enter into my own classroom. Um, I wasn't hesitant. I had, a, they, I felt like the university did a really good job at making sure we had a little bit of everything. So regardless of what grade we taught or regardless of if we wanted to specialize in a certain area, we were, we were very much prepared. Well, thanks for sharing. Um, looking back on your career so far, has there been a career defining moment or season so far in your career? You know, I think, and this is going to sound super cheesy, I know that, but I, I feel like every year there are these defining moments because I think of a career defining moment as a moment where you feel like this is why I'm doing my job. This is my why. And, and, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of have those every day with, 
it's a little harder virtually <laughs> to sure. have those moments every day. But when those kids are in here, I, I feel like there's kind of those moments every day um, and definitely every year, especially seeing the impact of certain students or, or the growth of certain students or, you know, how far students come in a year. Um, so I do, I do feel like, I, you know, again, because I kind of get to reboot every year, um, I'm very thankful and, and very lucky that I get to have several of those. Well, it sounds like it's so rewarding. It is. It is. I, and because I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if it, if it wasn't, if I didn't love it. And if it, if it wasn't. So no regrets. No regrets. No, nope, well, none. <laughs> what about career advice? Do you have any uh, career advice for alumni or students that might be watching today? You know, I, I think that people just need to, especially for students getting ready to, to enter into the workforces, don't settle. Um, step outside your comfort zone and and say yes to opportunities that you feel like maybe would definitely take you out of your comfort zone. Um, broaden your horizons, meet new people. I think networking is a huge thing. Staying connected to the university has been great um, for myself and, and my husband included. You know, we've, we've been very involved with the Alumni Association um, through, I was the club president when we lived um, in south, south of Knoxville and I'm on the board of directors now, and I think just staying connected to the university has really, really, really benefited, um, like I said, my husband and myself. So I definitely think staying connected to the university, I think broadening your horizons, I think, you know, taking those opportunities, even if it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, definitely step outside your comfort zone. Don't Great settle. advice. Great <laughs> advice. And I can see you're still bleeding blue even now wearing your UK blue. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, last question for you, Kendra. Um, do you have a special UK memory or a favorite class or a professor that you could share with us? Oh gosh, I could share several, but um, we, so I was a freshman living um, in Blanding 4 <laughs> when we had the ice storm. Gosh, that would have been in 2002 or three when the ice storm hit and basically mm -hmm. shut down the city of Lexington um, and campus was really the only place in the city that had electricity. So I remember our dorms were packed full of people that didn't have power and they were coming <laughs> um, to stay with us. But I remember sledding on cafeteria trays and walking around campus and seeing all the ice. Um, and it was I mean, super dangerous, obviously, but beautiful. It was the most beautiful. It was quiet and magical and beautiful. And my roommates and I, we, you know, like I said, we went sledding um, on the cafeteria trays and walking around campus when it was, there were no cars. There were no, I mean, it was just, it was, I, I will never forget that. Never. <laughs> Where did you sled with the cafeteria trays? Was it Willie T? Yeah, yeah. Like kind of where it's it like domed out on uh, on that side. Yeah. You know, students still do that. They still will sled yeah. in that area whenever we get a little snow. Oh, that's so fun no, to see that memory. Willie T was not that old at all. It was very new when I was there. So we were probably some of the first to do it. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. Well, Kendra, we yeah. really appreciate you sharing your story with the UK community and we wish you much success uh, in the future. And we're really grateful for all that you do to support the Alumni Association and the university. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Have a great day. You too.